Welcome to the Inside Scoop International. I'm Daria Mirnova and today in the news. Women across Iceland, including the Prime Minister, went on strike demanding equal pay in an end to gender-based violence. Schools, shops, banks and swimming pools were closed on Tuesday. National media holding reduced TV and radio broadcasts for the day. Iceland, a rock island of around 380,000 people, has been ranked as the world's most gender equal country for 10 years in a row by the World Economic Forum, which measures pay, education, healthcare, and other factors. China has replaced Defense Minister General Li Shangfu, who has been out of the public eye for almost two months. Li is the second senior Chinese official to disappear this year, following former Foreign Minister Qin Gong, who has been removed from the office in July without any explanation. Li is under U.S. sanctions related to his overseeing weapon purchases from Russia that barred him from entering the country. China has since cut off contact with the U.S. military, mainly in protest over U.S. arms sales to Taiwan. NHL reverses its ban on rainbow-colored spray tape, allowing players to use it on the ice this season. Two weeks ago, the NHL sent a memo to teams clarifying what players can and cannot do as a part of theme night celebrations, including a ban on the use of rainbow-colored stick tape for the Pride Nights. The tape ban drew criticism from players and executives around the league. The league, players union and a committee on inclusion agreed to give players the option to represent social causes with stick tape during warm-ups, practices and games. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop International. I'm Daria Mirnova. See you next time.